You know, my wife and I came to this community over 20 years ago, and we bought our first house in uh, the southwest corner of San Leandro. One of the reasons that we chose this is because it was the center hub <coughs> accessible to the entire Bay Area. One of the things that I've noticed that over the years is that folks go in and out of San Leandro all the time, and one of the things that we need to do is to focus on the economic development to keep folks in San Leandro and have folks come into San Leandro. There are two major concerns in the city today. If you talk to the city, it's the budgetary issues. So economic development is one way to offset some of that. Other areas is to look into the financial aspects, which is one of my key expertise. The other area is to focus on the uh, public safety aspect, because everybody is talking about public safety today. That's what everybody in the public is talking about. And I'm endorsed by the San Leandro Police Department. The, uh, I've served on the city uh, boards and commissions right, over the last several years, on the Parks and Re Recreations and Park Commission, where we put together, uh, work with Sabrina Amazon on the, the dog park, and also change the quality of life with uh, eliminate alcohol at the park, which greatly improved the quality of life. I currently sit on the personal relations board. I've sat on my HOA board for the last decade, serving as president. And one of the things that folks have told me in my HOA is that we have the safest neighborhood in town. That's probably because of all the efforts that we've done to make it a lot safer. Those are some things that I will bring to the city. Now, with respect to some of the other things, like the San Leandro Hospital, as well as the Fiber Loop, well, the San Leandro, uh, actually the Kaiser Hospital that's coming in, there's a lot of folks that are actually moving into our community preparing for that. So we actually have to focus on the economic development, bringing in the quality businesses, bringing in dining options, expanding on our, our, our current uh, options around our shopping and dining area already. The other aspect is to focus in on bringing on new channels of business Financing, small business financing, as well as commercial financing. That's one gap that we have in the city right now is that we really haven't focused on that. Building the programs that will give the access to those resources. As I said, folks go out of the town. Now we want to keep them in town to try to uh, expand on that economic base. And that's what we're going to be focusing on when I get into office. Thank you. Good evening, everyone. Thank you so very much for coming out tonight. Um, like you, I'm very concerned about San Leandro and its future. I'd like to start by telling you a little bit about myself. I have an MBA, a Master's in Business Administration from Golden Gate University, and a Bachelor's of Science degree in Business Administration from Ball State University. I've worked for local government for over 15 years in San Francisco and San Mateo counties. I am a homeowner, a taxpayer, a single, hardworking, professional woman. I've lived in San Leandro nine years and six years in the Washington Manor District. I'm analytical, I'm practical, mature, I'm a fresh voice willing to do the work to make government work for us. This recession has hit many of my friends and local residents hard. And we don't have the time to not capitalize on our opportunities that are before us. We have to preserve essential services like the police, fire, library, senior services, parks and recs. And with that, I'd be honored to do the work to help us capitalize on some of those opportunities. Thank you very much. Hello, thank you all for coming tonight. I grew up in San Leandro. I attended San Leandro Public Schools. In 2010, I was appointed to the Planning Commission. And I was proud to work on and create San Leandro's first bicycle and pedestrian master plan. I'm on the board of the San Leandro Education Foundation and the San Leandro Sports Foundation. I worked on the Measure M School Bond Campaign. These efforts created new jobs and funding for enrichment and sports programs. I'm the co-founder of a community group, Team Craig, which raises funds to fight cancer and fund two scholarships at the high school each year. And I'm proud to be endorsed by the Alameda Labor Council, the Alameda County Building and Trades Council, and elected officials like Supervisor Wilma Chan, Mayor Stephen Cassidy, 
City Council Member Pauline Cutter, School Board Trustee Lance James, and School Board Trustee Mike Katz. But what are some of the issues in San Leandro? Well, I think we're actually sitting in front of one of the biggest issues, and that's saving San Leandro Hospital. Now, there is a plan in the works to save the hospital, but it could cost the city a million dollars to do so. I support this plan, and I'm, co I'm endorsed by the co-founder of Save San Leandro Hospital, Miyazaki. And I have workable solutions to raise the revenue without burdening working families or seniors. Maintaining as much access to health care as possible should be one of our key priorities. Now, business development and fiscal sustainability, economic growth. I'm the only candidate in my race that's pro-pension reform. My opponents have taken a no-reform position, which I believe is irresponsible and not a reflection of reality. In terms of growing and using the fiber optic loop, well, there's, there's something coming up in February next year that will help us. City manager just made a move on Monday to allow more funding to be used for our incentive programs to help connect our opportunities sites to the fiber optic loop. I support this plan. Now, the schools are a big problem, too. I, I worked on Measure M, and like Measure M, Measure L is another step forward in getting more local funding for our schools. And every civic leader should be out working to pass it, because supporting our students is fundamental to all the success. Now, unlike my opponents, my positions are clear. I bring real solutions to the table, and I've already demonstrated my ability to put into work, to do the studying, and come up with real solutions. With your support today, we can help San Leandro move forward. Move forward and champion a quality of life that's second to none in the Bay Area. I ask for your support. Thank you. All right, so um, I'm not going to lie, I'm a little nervous. So it's my first like, real speech here. I'm not a political insider. I haven't been on a bunch of committees um, like some of my other opponents. Um, what I am is a representation of you guys community. Um, it was early August. I was talking to my wife, Jennifer, back there, and I said, you know, the community has changed quite a bit. Things have changed around here. We were walking to Clancy's one day, and I noticed there was a lot of garbage on the ground. There were some beer bottles. There were some cigar wrappers. Um, just all kinds of stuff. A cereal box. And I started thinking about our community and what it's become. And I actually live in the house that I grew up in in Washington Manor on uh, right over on Beatty Street. I grew up in that house my whole life. I went to Washington Manor School. I went to Royal High School. I worked at Porky's Pizza. I played baseball at Stencil Park. And over the years, I've seen San Leandro change quite a bit. It's changed, and not, not for the better. Things have changed a lot for the worse. Um, crime's up. Our uh, uh, robberies are up 20, uh, 24%, I believe. Assaults are up 27%. We've had 10 homicides or nine home size. One guy got shot in the head. He probably, God knows what's going to happen to that guy. He's in critical condition. And, uh, and, uh, and that's in two years in a suburban city that I grew up in, a population of 85,000. So to me, that's pretty shocking. And I don't know how we're ever going to lure attractive businesses to our community. I don't know how we're ever going to lure families to our community if we don't address the problem of public safety. And who better to do that as somebody who's been an investigator for 15 years. I've been an investigator and a, a retail manager of loss prevention for over 15 years. So I have uh, done enough investigations, closed enough investigations in my time, worked with enough law enforcement officers that I understand the dynamic of law enforcement. I understand the dynamic of community policing. I have a degree in administration and justice. And I feel like I don't have a ton of endorsements. And I'm not going to get a ton of endorsements from all these organizations. I'm going to work every day trying to support my family, OK? And then uh, a lot of people have a lot more availability to go and uh, go to interviews and whatnot. But here's the deal. At the end of the day, I want your endorsement. I want to be endorsed by the people of San Leandro. I want to, be, I want to give you guys a voice at the table at the city council, OK? I'm going to make decisions for you guys. I'm going to do what's right for all the citizens of the community. I have two children in schools. I have one. I have a baby. Okay? And I'm going to do what's right for the citizens of San Leandro, for the people of San Leandro, for the families of San Leandro. And that's all I can say is I want your endorsement. I want to make a change for you guys. All right? So that's all I got for you. Justin Hutchison. <laughs> Thank you, Justin Hutchison. <laughs>